court-ordered, probation, or pretrial drug tests can vary depending on the individual's offense and the severity of consequences. Usually, probation drug testing is random and could include anywhere from a 5-panel to a 12-panel drug test or even more, and it could also include alcohol testing. The most commonly abused and therefore the most commonly tested substances include marijuana, cocaine, PCP, opiates, amphetamines, barbiturates, and benzodiazepines. The first five substances just mentioned are included in the standard five-panel drug test. If a drug test result is positive for any of the drug panels, National Drug Screening immediately sends it for additional GCMS confirmation testing by a SAMHSA certified laboratory, as well as having it reviewed by a medical review officer. An individual who receives a positive result will have the chance to communicate with the MRO who's responsible for reviewing their test result prior to the results being released. And during this communication with the MRO, they will have the opportunity to disclose and explain any prescriptions for medications that they're taking. Since just about any drug can be detected in the urine, it is common for probation officers to require observed or random drug tests as a condition of their probation. However, probation officers may choose to require a hair follicle drug test since they are more difficult to cheat and they can detect drug use over a longer period of time, sometimes up to 90 days. If you must refrain from alcohol consumption as a condition of your probation, then you will most likely be required to submit to continuous random alcohol tests to prove your sobriety.